take the new Tiger 1200 out uh, and wait to test ride this bike and let you all know this It's obviously where I work as well, so um, I'm going to get this Tiger out of the, uh, the urban environment, get that folks, and uh, out of the city and up into the hills. So, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, so I'm on board the, uh, waving at me in the window, the uh, Tiger 1200, just about to set off, everything's on. Leaving the car park. No, that it feels nice and comfortable. I'm going to go a cut across. <coughs> go behind uh, City Square, I think. Oh, don't even need the uh, clutch. Is redundant now. Fantastic. Feels lighter already. Spins up quick. So basically I'm on a bike, a new Tiger 1200 Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that would have been good, wouldn't it? So the Tiger is leaving the urban environment There's gravel and crap on the roads today Really bad <coughs> Grey day, greasy on the roads. But a really picky route. And deliberately picked a really bumpy road. You see in the distance there, Manchester, in its lovely greyness. I am in at the minute. Uh, comfort. Shit. I wasn't expecting that. Alright, let's get out of the city. So it's speed, and there it is in, uh, in front of us. Manchester City Stadium. Special mention for Sam at work. <laughs> Just getting on the motorway now, the M60. What I'm going to do <coughs> It's 10 degrees today, so I'm warm in the body. I've had the heated seat on, which is just a button press on there. And I've got heated grips just on that one there. It was in rain mode before, cutting up through, because the, the roads were really uh, slippy in the air. So what I'm going to do now, See the dash. Switch it up back to normal road mode. I'm gonna stiffen the suspension up to bang it up to sport mode. Again. There we go. The seat on the lowest setting, there's no buffer tip. In fact, there's that much going on. <laughs> You've got to concentrate on the road as well, remember. 
So I'm going to stick it back down to normal mode. <coughs> because we're in, I'm going to try the cruise control. We're in six. So I'm heading up into the uh, hills of the Peak District. We're not far from uh, Macclesfield now. The road conditions, brakes are good, good solid feel. So you've just got to thread your way in uh, the weather like this. Last thing I want to do is be binning this and end up on the arse. Yeah, we've uh, like the crank to fly with, so you just spin up, just spin up pretty quick. Nice entry though, with that arrow pad on the back. That makes about three kilos lighter. You do feel it when you're riding it. We've got the suspension on the sport though, so it's Tiger's growling. I feel sure footed, but as I say, the road's so greasy. Oh. Get on to the uh, cut and fill in a bit. One thing I will say, I've got the seat height on the lowest setting, and normally I've got the highest. <coughs> but uh, it feels extremely comfortable. It's like before, it was uh, <coughs> starting to rain, so literally, this is the end button. So I'll go across, into rain, throttle off, and into rain mode. Counterfield reputed to be one of the most dangerous roads in the United Kingdom. <coughs> it's claimed a lot of uh, bikers' lives over the years. I must admit, it's nearly caught me out a few times. Temperature's dropping, so I think we'll have some uh, heaty grips on. And I think I'll warm the arse up. So I don't even see this little red, red symbol. Uh, heaty grips, heaty seat. Wind deflection's brilliant. probably noticed from my other videos, I do get up these parts quite a lot. Nice twisties, nice roads, uh, nice, nice picturesque scenes as well. But yeah, decent bit of road. It's great. I mean, it used to be great back in the day, but these speed cameras seem to have uh, dulled it down a bit now. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's nice. It's still a great bit of road. Yeah. Well known. Good place to come. It used to be great for when come, come here and have a quick pint as well, but obviously the pub's shut down now. I know. So no more of that. But yeah, great bit of road. Great yeah, bit of road. Fella. Yeah. Basically, you guys from Manchester, yeah. Houston. Manchester, Houston, yeah, yeah, stop, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, lovely, lovely. After days, yeah. Cheers for 
Forest. Right, so <coughs> we're in the Goat Valley, just chatting to a couple of guys, and uh, so what I'm going to do now, switch it into off-road, so adjustment in progress, something just happened there. Let's see what we can do. Right, I'm going to stand up. Should open down the pegs now. I'm not going far up here. Just going to stop until uh, we find a bit of a spot. Just to uh, make some soup. Sure footed. So a bit of a reach for the back brake though. Get a bit going a bit quicker. Right guys, how you again? Um in a, a nice spot. <coughs> you can see up the road there. So there's the bike. Not really suffer getting mucked up much. So what I'm going to do now is just show you around um, before it gets dark. <coughs> is the controls. What I've done is just put the uh, stand on a rock just in case because I've got 200 odd kilos. So let's have a walk around. New lights which are directional, quarter and assisted LED lights. Uh, the fog lights are lighter. You've still got your WP suspension, and this is the uh, top of the range. XCA model um, priced at $16,950 on the road. <clears throat> Aluminium sump guard, engine bars, it's got the uh, grippy uh, levers, pedals, I should say. Arrow exhaust, which drops it three kilos. Keeping the newly designed spoke wheels, which are, are lighter and stronger and a real comfortable seat and on this model you've got heated seats <coughs> both for the rider and the passenger and the heated seats are operated via that button now while i'm up this end this is your main cluster i'll come to this in a second so watching this rock so this is your on and off so if i want to lock the bike now the keys in my pocket they're I hope it is anyway. Blimey. So you down get a brand new gorgeous key. Look at that. Brushed aluminium. I've got a flip up. Yeah, you still use it for your fuel tank and your luggage, but and taking the seat off, so but hey ho. So that sits in your pocket. So to lock the bike, you said. There you go, yeah, that clip, that switches it back on, or it switches it off, I should say. Now another clip, that unlocks it. So then your main cluster here, that's your hazard lights, 
and you've got your on and off button. So let's get switch on. Display comes on with a beautiful TFT screen. So this bike's currently covered. Let's just turn it that way. 143 miles, and I've got the clock set this way, so kind of like a the old style. You can set that as well. There's all different modes for that. So the minute we're in road mode, it defaults back to that. We're in off-road mode before. Shows you your clock, shows you your temperature, it shows you your fuel, and then you got. I'm in like a trip. They call it a bottom tray at the minute. So this is like the the trip tray. Neutral oil light, engine light. Well, you've also got. In fact, no, I'll mention that in a second. So coming back to the cluster, on the front you've got your your, your high beam. You see there, the lights are on full, LEDs and everything. What's on there? Oh, sorry, that's your fogs. Fog lights. You got cruise control, so set and zoom, and then you got your LED lights. On there at the bottom, beautiful, beautiful. Also got heated grips, so when you press that button one, it comes up on the display, little red, see it there? Amber, just one, and then off. And then the same for your seat. Watch it come up red. Warm. Amber. And then off. And that's for the rider. Uh, now your M function is the modes. So if we press M, comes up, and you've got your toggle button at the bottom. So then we can you know, press M again. Toggle along. So we want rain. Rider, off-road pro on the XCA model only, um, off-road, sport mode, back to road mode. So all you do, you want to change it to that, press that and it holds it, it shows you then at the top left of the screen, see above the clock. So, I'm not going to go too much detail into it, but it's so ergonomically friendly. And I'm waiting until it gets a bit dark, because all this will illuminate as well, so it's going to look pretty damn good. Um, what else we got? So you got your uh, trip meter. This one here, it's showing there when you see sport comfort and elite, when you're riding it, you can literally drop it down, say on a bumpy road, down at comfort mode, just at the touch of a button. So we'll keep on that for now. Screen adjust. Again, just the touch of a button. There she goes. Right, all the way down. Perfect. You've also got different styles of clocks. I say I've gone for like the more traditional analog sort of style. So pick three styles. So one. You know, you really want to see uh, what speed you do. Two. Three. There is others as well. Um, that one's underneath, decent home. <coughs> so it's got the tri semi active suspension, uh, switchable modes. Um, it's got a lot. You know, what more do you want? Well, a bit more on here. If you go to the home button, again, you can dial into it individually. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. Rider rain, you can set the bike up there. Uh, shift assist, hill hold. I used that before. Now, hill hold, you say you're taking a photograph here. If I let me get back to the main screen, so that presses that. So, hill that might not do it with the engine off. There you go, hill hold unavailable. So, you, you squeeze in the front brake, and that bike won't move. So, idea when you've got a pillion on the back or um, you know, you want to take a photograph and stop on a hill and you don't want the bike moving forwards, which is always a bit of a problem. So I love that feature, I think that's great. I've got a bit of a shine on the screen now, aren't we? So, 
going back to the bike, adjustable levers front and rear. Um, I say they've lightened the, the crank and the flywheel. <coughs> Let's move it out to full picture. So the crank and the flywheel, so it definitely spins up a lot quicker. I could feel it when uh, I got the chance when the roads weren't great. So that's the bike. Um, I love that ride. I thought it was fantastic. More comfortable than mine. Engine note was fantastic. Uh, it, all in all, you've done a really good job. I'm, I must admit, I'm really impressed. Sold a couple of these now, and uh, a couple of guys have gone out on demos. I absolutely loved them. So, if you fancy one, then say I work at Yule's Motorcycles and uh, the Manchester branch. But wherever you're watching, we also have a branch at Blackburn as well. Um, come and see me and see all the other guys and uh, treat yourself to a brand new Tiger Explorer. Sorry, it's not called Explorer anymore, Tiger 1200. Um, so yeah, that is the big cat, definitely. And uh, what a beautiful sort of setting. Pity it's all grey and horrible, but never mind. But that's the white one. Um, you can get a range of colours, but first I think the uh, XCA goes really well in the uh, in the, uh, the the white finish. Yeah, they've done a really good job. So I'm going to get a little bit of soup on, and uh, catch you in a minute. Using the lighty guys. Sorry. Right. Get some water boiled up now. folks um, <clears throat> conclusion gotta say I absolutely love this bike would I pay 17,000 yes I probably would because there is some great PCP deals and let's be honest most people do get the bikes these days those ways makes it so affordable um, yeah I must admit I would like to change mine now so watch this space <coughs> Mine's a 12 plate, got a 20 odd thousand, still going strong, but from a 12 plate to this one, yeah, you can certainly know the difference. Brilliant bike. Soup's good, nice and warming on a day like today. The light's starting to go now, so what I'm going to do is uh, bid you farewell. Sorry, not been out on a wild camp on a, on a bike for a for, for a while now but let's be honest not really the weather for it although today you could do it but uh, I've got a bit planned this year coming up so please stay tuned I know people saying where's your next bike video trust me it will be coming so uh, I can hear somebody so run on me soon so again um, I wish you farewell and Please like, share, subscribe, the big thing, thumbs up. But um, I've enjoyed today. So I'm going to get back back now and uh, get back to the shop and drop it back. But once again, thanks a lot for watching and all the very best. Cheers.